People of Reddit who have momentarily died then were revived. What were those fleeting moments like? Serious. Two months ago I was OD'd on anesthesia in an oral surgeon's office. Coded in the ER and was dead for under a minute. But duck it. It counts. Between me going out and me waking up in the IQ there is nothing. No black void. Lost loved ones. Messages from the other side. Nothing. Processing it since then. I don't know if there's nothingness is comforting or terrifying. It was like turning off a TV. One second things were working and the next time waking up surrounded by doctors and nurses with my feet in the air and a unit of blood being shot into me at high speed. He I I I I but I I I I. How ya feeling? We are lost you for a minute there. When I was 14 and at a party, I drank way too ducking much. I was sort of an alcoholic even at that age. Due to easy access to alcohol at the time. Also a family full of alcoholics who didn't give a duck. Woke up on the bathroom floor vomiting my guts out. In and out of consciousness. I could faintly hear my brother in the background. Calling for an ambulance. Woke up in a hospital bed where the doctor said I had been dead for 2 minutes. But they managed to revive me. My back was 0.56. In my experience. Being dead was like being asleep. Absolutely no difference. No flashbacks. No afterlife that I could recall. It was exactly like sleeping. Very peaceful. As if that wasn't bad enough. I continued to drink heavily for years after that incident because I hadn't learned my ducking lesson apparently. I eventually sought out help after another scare. But that's a story for another day. 18 months sober. I died of a drug overdose and was revived in the ambulance. I don't remember anything. Had a heart attack last year and my heart stopped three times in the ER. Apparently, each time they shocked me back I woke up, how it felt, and told the staff a different knock knock joke each time. No lights or whatever, just felt like sleep. Well, nothing official and I hope this is okay. Mostly for the head trip it occasionally gives me. I almost drowned in a pool when I was 5. I remember looking up and seeing my mother dismissing the lifeguard because I was only playing and his legs starting to break through the water because he knew better. Before blacking out. There was nothing between that moment and throwing up water after he pulled me out of the pool. Though I can remember with absolute clarity how the water made everything shimmer as I was looking up. And sometimes I see that swimming shimmer as I'm walking around outside or if the light is really bright. And I can't help but wonder in those moments if my entire life, all my failures, successes, falling in love with a woman and having two children with her, the love of my life cheating on me, if everything for the last 30 years is just all inside my head during the last few moments before I die, still in that pool. Complete peace and serenity cannot be put into words. I felt something, maybe a being, guiding me with the purest and strongest love. I was about 10 at the time. Dying felt amazing. And I know this post sounds like so many other experiences. But it's true. Few years ago I was put under for a barsi. That feeling was truly odd. And felt a lot more like death should have. Lights out. Except there is no blackness either. No concept of time. Could have been out a minute or a year and wouldn't have known the difference. I had an allergic reaction to something I ate and passed out while I was splashing water on my face. At some point my heart stopped and got restarted while I was in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. I remember a feeling of being sucked backwards. Extremely slowly like being pulled through water and this blackness fading in and out. At one point it faded back in and I was staring out at a garden. It wasn't filled with flowers. Just dust and patchy grass. There was a playground with a merry-go-round in the middle and two children running around it. A boy and a girl. It's difficult to describe but I got the feeling that I could choose if I wanted to stay or leave. But every time I tried to go back I was held in place. I went through all the reasons I wanted to go back. And when I told the presence I didn't want to abandon my mother whatever held me finally let go. I snapped back into my body. Heart had stopped for 6 minutes. About 2 years ago, I was admitted to the hospital for severe abdominal pain. I was told it was pancreatitis. And they needed to keep me for a while to get the pain and my triglycerides numbers under control. During this time, my kidneys started to shut down and I started to swell. 
I gained close to 120 pounds of pure water weight during this time because the treatment consisted of fluids and antibiotics. Because of this, it got increasingly difficult to lay on my back because my weight was literally suffocating me at that point. One day, my nurse had walked in and started asking me questions. My vision started to blur in and out of focus. And I had the strangest feeling I was forgetting to do something. Then the room started spinning and pulling me further and further down. Not literally as I was already in bed. My vision got dimmer and dimmer. Then there was a swirling mass of stars and I kept spinning. Swirling down and down and down. It felt like I was being sucked into a black hole. It seemed to go on forever. Then pain. Everywhere. My nurse had been doing CPR. I was told I had been dead for 3 minutes. I have since mostly recovered. I still deal with abdominal pain and other stuff due to my long stay in the hospital. Which was close to 9 months. Stupidly mixed alcohol. Meds and summer heat. Young and stupid. Smoked a self-made cigarette. The area used to be popular for shops where you go in and pick your flavors and whatnot. Well. They also laced it with spice I think. Very common in the area as well. Anyway. I started feeling faint then eventually passed out. Was carried back to my apartment. Husband at the time refused to call 911. I stopped breathing multiple times and according to friends and said husband's heart stopped. I remember darkness except for where I was standing. It was as if I was standing on tiles that would light up only if I stepped on them. I saw something a little in the distance so walked towards it, in retrospect. Kinda dumb to walk towards the light haha. At the end was my best friend who had died on a platform on these little tiles. I hugged hug and screamed at him begging him to let me stay with him. He pushed me off slowly and told me it was okay. But I couldn't stay. I have to go back. It's not time. I screamed for him as I felt myself being pulled away from him. He kept saying it will be okay. I had to fight because it wasn't time. The light around him grew darker. I woke up gasping for air and trying to call his name. My husband and best friend was standing over me. Shaking me trying to get me to breathe and wake up fully. Yeah. That's all. Nobody knows if I was properly dead or just unconscious and not breathing with a very weak pulse. I was in a motorbike accident 2 months ago. To the day now. 21st of April actually. I don't remember anything from 30 minutes before the accident and some time after. I woke up in a truck on the way to hospital. My friend said when he got to me after the accident I wasn't breathing and he couldn't feel my pulse. I was lying there completely still and cramped up and stiff he said. He started CPR and after around 2 minutes I started breathing on my own he said. For me it was just a blackout. No dreams. No visions. Just nothing. I remember being very confused when I woke up. Like why am I lying down on my back? Why is it so dark? Why does my body hurt all over? Apparently I asked over 10 times what happened and apparently I shall be happy to be alive today. I had this montage of regrets. Really cliche I know. Blast through my mind. Kind of a turning point for me. I probably don't count. Because my heart was only stopped for mere seconds. But the only thing I could see was my spouse at my feet. By that I mean my eyes were closed. But his struggle was the only thing my mind could imagine and focus on. Backstory. Racing heartbeat a few months ago that was only corrected by medicine stopping my heart and then restarting it. Brief. But intense. Oh. And there was that other time as a kid I nearly drowned after getting an ankle caught between rocks in a river. Then. I remember thinking just two things. One. I should probably chill out. And focus only on pulling my foot out. Very clear what I was to do. 2. My dad is going to come get me. Pulled my ankle out on my own. But my dad was wet up to his thighs yanking me above water simultaneously. Yay dad. About 5 years ago I had to get some pretty major surgery. I have had several over the years and this was going to be the last one. I always get nervous about having surgery. But this time I knew something was going to go wrong. It sounds silly but I felt so strongly about it that I wrote a wool and left it on my dresser just in case. Anyway. Things go wrong during the surgery and I start to bleed out. Things went even further south and then my heart stopped beating. I found out later that I was dead for several minutes. 
Now I don't know if this was real or a hallucination or a mixture of the two. I woke up in what looked like space but there wasn't any stars or light. I wasn't floating so to speak. I was just there. I wasn't hot cold. Hungry. Tired. Just a peaceful neutral kind of thing. I knew there was light and love somewhere nearby but I had no urge or need to go to it right away. I remember thinking over my life. But it wasn't like a montage. More like I was idly flipping through a book and snippets stood out here and there. I don't remember making a decision to stay or go back. I just woke up in the Iku two days later. Whatever it was. It changed my thoughts on a few things. I am still afraid to die. But I'm not worried about what happens after that. This happened a couple months ago. Throw away because I keep personal stuff off my account. I was watching hockey in my room. The game was on the west coast, so I was up late. Having a couple beers, everything was normal. The game ended at around 1am. And I fell asleep shortly after that. I awoke 30 minutes later with a dull pain in the funny bone area of my elbow. Thinking I had just slept on it. I started flailing it around trying to get some feeling back. The dull pain turned to numbness of the arm. So I stood up, silently panicking to myself. Flailing my arm around. The pain got worse. As I walked into the hallway to grab some water, the pain abruptly shot up my arm into my heart. The pain I felt was absolutely indescribable, inhuman almost, my vision tunneled, and everything went numb. I could barely see. A ringing in my ears was loud, and sweat was pouring off me. I remember, in a daze, lightly striking the wall with my limp hands trying to regain some feeling. Then, I collapsed onto my living room floor. My mother heard the crash, came down and started absolutely freaking out. She called the ambulance, but decided to drag my dazed self to the car and rip to the emergency room. I remember fading in and out in the car, listening to the radio, feeling the cold air on my face from the open window. I'm pretty sure my mouth was hanging open but it didn't matter. I was so at peace in the car. I had accepted that this was probably it. I remember mumbling to my mother how much I loved her and thanking her. Then I woke up in the hospital. Alive now. Thankfully. I'm 19 BTW. I went in for surgery and was put under anesthetic. When they put you under here. They also give you antibiotics. I had a very atypical anaphylactic reaction to one of them. My blood pressure absolutely crashed. I was 40 stroke 20 for the most part. Until I flatlined. But I had no esophageal swelling or any rashes come up on my skin. It took 40 minutes to stabilize me. What was it like? Well. I woke up after the surgery and said oh. Whoa. I'm not in any pain at all and the surgeon sort of said yeah. We didn't operate. Not 15 minutes later. I was hot and clammy. Then my BP fell again. Didn't flatline a second time. But came close. I don't remember anything. Apparently my mother encountered some freaky paranormal at that one of the nurses also noticed at the exact time of my flatline. Though. Years ago. I accidentally overdosed on heroin and was dead for apparently 30 seconds or so before waking up. The shot was too big. But it didn't fully work right away. Not like the movies. Apparently. After I did it. I went back to my computer and started browsing Facebook for about 20 minutes. Then. There was light. It reminded me of when I was tubing down the river with my family as a kid. And a current knocked me off my tube and sucked me under the river. All I could think of was to swim towards the light. Since I had no idea which way was up. That's how I felt then. Like the decision to live was simple. So I swam towards it. The first thing that I realized was that I was laying down on the floor in our house. With paramedics shining a light in my eyes. The joke is true. Then I thought. Holy duck. The cops are here. Followed by. Oh it oh it oh duck duck it duck I overdosed. And I felt very. Very stupid and ashamed of putting my family through it. Even accidentally. The dying part did not hurt at all. At first I thought that was because I was really high when it happened. But no. I know now that I saw the line between life and death. It doesn't hurt to cross at all. It felt like being a kid. Staying homesick from school with my dad. Watching a random old movie on afternoon TV and falling asleep. Just like that. Living is much, much harder than dying. By far. Some years ago I attempted suicide by overdosing. 
I took the pills then went for a walk thinking that that would increase the absorption rate and speed up the effect. As the drugs were taking effect I began to panic. I kept thinking duck. I'm actually going to die. My life is over and I will never be able to fix anything. Duck 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 duck. Oh it oh it. What have I done a car stopped next to me and the driver asked if I needed help. God bless this man. I said yes and sat, fell, down on the grass. The very next thing I know I'm being lifted into the ambulance and the EMT is asking me questions which I can barely hear. I'm drifting downward and darkness is closing around me. It feels like I'm sinking into a warm bath, the most comfortable I've ever felt. I remember thinking if I just answer his question I can go to sleep. I woke up 5 days later with various tubes sticking out of me and my mom sitting in a chair in the corner. My first thought was duck. I'm alive. They tell me I was quite aggressive when I came in and it took 5 orderlies to hold me down. Surprising as I am not a particularly large or strong person. Today. My life is simply amazing. I have an incredible wife who is half my age. I have 4 adorable dogs. I'm retired and I pretty much play games all day. Life can literally change in an instant and get better than you can imagine but only if you're here to experience it. If you're suffering from depression, get some ducking help. Keep looking until you find it.